think from the age of eight, it was always a, an ambition to be a professional footballer, as with most kids. When I signed for Manchester City, it was a transitional period. I think there was two or three managers in the time I was there, if not more, and two or three owners as well. Uh, so there was a lot of chopping and changing of staff, players, facilities. I knew my days there were coming to an end and I knew football didn't have much longevity. My dad always taught me you need a second or third option to ensure you're relevant and you're financially stable for a long period of time. I started paying attention to fashion from 14 years old. I was always forward with my thinking. I took more risks than my peers and would wear more extravagant clothing. I always kind of studied these fashion websites. For example, at Bhutan from 15 years old and people used to laugh at me saying, why are you wearing spikes on your shoes? I would like to say I was uh, very young when I uh, kind of dabbled into fashion, but I didn't intend for it to be almost my life. Uh, but I guess that's the way things pan out sometimes. I founded Mania de Voir in late, late 2014. I launched a collection. The first pieces of clothing I produced were tracksuits, t-shirts, hoodies. Put it on my friends, the football players I knew, and it took off almost from the off. And at the time, I didn't really appreciate this is not normal until, you know, a year, year and a half down the line when I looked back and thought, wow, the turnover in the first year was unbelievable. And that's when I realized I need to really focus and take it to the next level. The transition from a footballer to a fashion owner was a gradual transition. Only when the numbers and the politics in football started to eat away at me is that I kind of had to make the choice because my football wasn't progressing at the rate I intended it to. The business was progressing at an alarming rate and I had to kind of make a choice because ultimately um, focus is important and I had to focus at where I feel I could make the biggest impact. At present, I think the staff number is between 25 and 30, and it's going to continue to increase dramatically in the, in the coming year. I like to employ young, hungry, ambitious people. I don't really look at, you know, the university they went to, whether they've come from the street, whether they've come from anywhere, I don't care, as long as they want to be the best in what they can be. And I think that's how I am as a person, just hungry for knowledge, you know, hungry to better myself every single day. When Reese put up the advertisement of the job on his story, it, for me it was, it was a big opportunity. It gave me a date and a time to be here, and then I came and then we had a little meeting and then from then on things just took off. I find Reese as an inspiration for young people because he's a young person who owns one of the biggest brands in the UK. So for me, it's just, it's, it inspires me to just achieve more and more and do something with my life. I don't think there's another company which is new in the business world that offers men and women at a strong level. There's a lot of other brands who sell just men or just women, but to do both is very rare, um, and I'm proud of that. Big fan of Zara and H&M, you know, the seasons change, the trends change extremely fast, you know, and that's how I kind of base this business with a little, you know, modern twist. The future for the business, we are growing extremely fast. We're doing a lot of structural work with logistics, obviously, the office and front end is working well, but we need to continue to improve. And hopefully in the next year or two, we will have flagship stores. I'm happy with the way it's going. The people in it are ambitious, I'm ambitious, and we're all on the same path. I have a big purpose, that's to you know employ people, give them growth. Of course, I like nice things, as does everybody, but I get more um, fulfillment by coming to work, generating something that the youth can look up to and say, okay, well, someone did that with little money and it's grown to this, you know, corporation with 50 staff and stores. Uh, and that keeps my feet on the ground because I know I'm so far from my finish point. <laughs>